I'm here at the NARBC Arlington Reptile Show and I'm vending and it is really busy. Hopefully we sell some geckos. What? Almost just died. I almost just died. Guys, this is going to be quite the NARBC show. The line is out the door and it's wrapped around twice. There are a lot of people here. So, yes, I'm vending. Look how beautiful my sign is. Beautiful. Living wild sign. And then Georgina is tattooing duck's butt. My little butt tattoos and a, a on our little butt. rubber duckies. <laughs> it's got a butt tattoo. Beautiful. She's gonna be throwing them around during the auction tonight. It's gonna be fun. And then Paul is doing gecko business. Oh, and what are you doing, Hannah? Are you munching? For like, thanks. We're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah has ball pythons. I have Chips Ahoy cookies. How much are they? 25 cents a cookie. Actually, let's up that to like a dollar. Don't I you think? Uh, they're, man, I was it's a pricey cookie. <laughs> My table is decorated with Beanie Babies. I started a new channel called Catalia's Curiosities and it's going to be based around my other passion, one of them, which is thrifting, vintage stuff, collecting things, art and all that. So I decided to start incorporating some of that when I then shows. So I sell Beanie Babies sometimes and I have a lot of them. And I brought some with me to the show, so super duper fun and it makes the table look super cute. Look at all these Beanie Babies. Hannah's a cookie dealer. That's right, making money. Oh, I have some geckos with me here today. We have some lily whites, lily whites, tormund. I'm still trying to sell tormund. Pine Island Chihua. This is Rusty, one of my frog eye geckos, but I am downsizing, so I'm gonna let go of some of my other gecko species. Then I have this beautiful Zingex gecko, another Zingex gecko, and Hannah has ball python. What's your favorite ball python that you brought? My favorite one that I brought yeah. is her. Her? Yeah, it stays too much longer, she'll be staying with me. You gonna keep that one? Possibly, it yeah. Itself. So it's a banana Mojave cinnamon pastel head ultra. Ultra male. Ultra male? Yep. 500. Beautiful. She's very pastel y. Yes. Tina, what's your second favorite? <laughs> uh, second favorite is going to be the GHI black head. Oh, wow. I do like really dark animals. That's so. beautiful. It is really dark. Yes. This is Hannah's card. I like this one. Oh, it's a Mystic Potion. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. I know that one. So silvery with the blue eyes. Hi, friends. How are you doing? Hi. How are you doing today? If you guys didn't see our video that we just did at their house, you should go watch it. It was so much fun. We have a little bit of the geckos showcased in that video here with us today. Just a couple. Just a few. What's your favorite one that you brought that you're like, I don't really want to sell this, but I have it. I think I know which one you're going to pull out. All of them? Oh, look at this. This is one of the Azanthics we showcased in the video. They brought one to see if maybe someone would end up wanting it. Oh my god. What the heck? Whoa. You guys are really bringing the killer stuff to this show. Got an Azanthic and a... It's just pure high color. Pure high color. This kind of looks like my male. Well, hopefully we can make the bars straight pink with no white in it. Oh yeah, let me see your shirt. <laughs> so this is a the sibling These are siblings, said? yes. Pretty. So yeah, this is the high color line that we filmed at their house, and they are also psycho. Well, so. yeah, if you guys want to see what geckos they have, if these don't sell, they'll be on... Morph Market soon. Oh, you're Mark doing a Morph Market? Yeah, we at Schomburg. And Fall Tenley. Unfortunately, we Fall are Tenley. missing spring because we will be in Africa. Well, Sorry, guys. that's a good oh, excuse not to be there, so... <laughs> and maybe someday I'll be vending with them at a Tinley show, because I've never been to Tinley, and it'd be really fun. But I will be there filming, so... We'll get you in there, somehow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So this is Clyde Creatures, and he just bought two giant milk snakes. Three. Three Endurance. giant milk snakes. And what morphs are these? This is going to be an albino, and this is going to be a hypo. An albino and a hypo. Are you going to breed them? Hopefully. Awesome. Well, congrats. Thank you. So me and Hannah, we're taking a picture together, and this happened. We're a little stressed out. There's so much. It's so going. How much is that one? Is it discounted now? It's discounted. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she weighs less. All of my friends are at the show. It's the best day. Hi nice guys! Hello! We were gonna go look at Tegan's table because she had a lychee baby, you yes, said? Yes, a little teeny tiny lychee baby. It is so cute. And they see it's gonna buy it, right, Lady? Probably. <laughs> it always happens. It does. Let's go! Hello. 
Okay, we found Tegan's table. Tegan has a beautiful little baby lychee. Lacey's future lychee. Lacey wants the lychee. Lacey wants the lychee. <laughs> Lacey also has a chihuahua from Tegan. Mm -hmm. It's and my another favorite lychee. lychee. And another yes. lychee. I have a guard, a chihuahua, and a lychee from Tegan. So cute. And Tegan, what's your Instagram? It's underscore lizard underscore lounge. Mm -hmm. Pretty. So cute. It is really cute. It's very patterned for being so small. The dad to this one was the first lychee I ever got. <laughs> Are we dealing geckos over here, guys? Yeah, What's going on? Top secret. <laughs> Didn't see this happening behind, behind the, the table. table. Nobody knows. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Which one's your favorite out of these, Lacey? Out of these? Yeah. I think that one. Spot. That one? That one. Yeah. Because of that pink. Better. When this one came out, we knew instantly it was going to stay in deep red. Yeah. yeah. When that one came out, we instantly, both of us were like, that's a nicer one. It's I think beautiful. it's going to develop It just has so much pink. Like, look at the head on that thing, too. It's gorgeous. Gosh, it's really, really busy, but it's kind of calmed down some. So I'm going to go try to find some really cool animals to show you guys. And for those who are unfamiliar with reptile shows, they're basically a place where animal lovers, reptile breeders, all the above can kind of come together to celebrate the love for these animals. You can buy from breeders, talk to them in person about their animals, and you can buy all the supplies you need for them too. So it's a really cool place to check out if you're getting into reptiles. So what should we look at first? There's so many things. I'm just going to walk up to a table and film it. So can you tell me again what is in this one? This one came out of the watermelon jag conda female to a, a sable head albino male. So she's visually a watermelon conda and she's possibly head for albino, but she is head for sable. She she has a kind of reduced head pattern She's and beautiful. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some more greens come out of it like an like a army green. Very interesting looking so, We'll play with it and see what happens. I'm here with Genevieve and she just got a little ball python. It's a blue-eyed Lucy hey, and I'm she's gonna, gonna name it Salt which I think is the cutest name idea ever. So Blake here for auctioning in the US Ark auction his bot fly that he personally raised in his leg. Here's my little scar here. There's the proof right there. How's it going, Catalia? It's going. How's it going for you? It's going. Would you like to look at anything today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. Because why do something today that can be put off till tomorrow? We I love always. procrastinating. <laughs> Hi guys, Catalia is tired. The show has been very busy and I haven't sold any geckos and I'm really tired. But we have got to go to the auction after this. <laughs> right, Dave. What we're am I going, saying right to? We're going to the auction, but we're tired. <laughs> so daddy tired. We're here at the auction. We're early. The U.S. Ark auctions are held the Saturday evening after every NARBC show. You can find great deals on animals, enclosures, and so much more. Really, more. There are always some very random items. And all of the proceeds go to U.S. Ark, who fights for our rights to keep these animals. Try to make it to a future auction by getting tickets to it at the U.S. Ark table at the show. Good morning guys. We are here for day two of the NARBC Arlington Reptile Show. Yesterday I didn't get to film a whole lot because it was super busy and I was trying to sell geckos, but today it's really calm so far. The doors have only opened for VIP and vendors, but we are here setting up. Right, Hannah? Right. <laughs> I need to go through and change all the paper towels and clean everybody, but... What are you doing, Dave? Uh, marketing. Ooh, fun. Tell us, how does Dave Kaufman market things? It's a top secret thingy. Oh. Check out patreon.com slash That's right, check out Patreon. <laughs> Actually, check out Catalia on Patreon because I just started my Patreon again and you can get behind the scenes videos and photos and all kinds of cool things. That's correct, do it. You're a Patreon on my Patreon. I am a Patreon. I, I think I was like your first Patreon ever. We do a dollar a month for each other so that's it right. just cancels cancel it out. cancel each other out <laughs> yeah. and that's the way we support each other. friends take me to what they thought was the coolest thing at the show today. So Dave, would you mind showing us something that you thought was really cool? Everything. Well, let's go see a few things. One thing at a time. <laughs> Look at this box. This is a hide box. One of the coolest things that you can find here at the expo. Give it a rating out of 10. I will give it 1995. So this is a female VPI Azanthic Pied. That is a ball python. Follow the Dave. Follow the Dave and I will take you right to somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> 
beautiful song. <laughs> Ooh, gopher. Albino gopher. I could really gopher this snake right now. Sorry, very, very sorry. So this is kind of interesting. This is a Rockhampton coastal carpet python, and it almost looks azanthic, but it's not. Hey guys, so I'm here with Sierra, and Sierra just got her very first ball python. Yep, his name is Nico. Nico, super cute. And what is he? He's a vanilla blade het clown. Yep, this is my first one. Your first one? You ever gonna get any more? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows, I guess you'll have to wait and see, huh? Maybe we'll catch you at another show and you can show us another snake. Yep. Make sure you wipe down your tortoises. Yeah, nobody cares like the owner does. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, what are you showing us now? So since Dan the Turtle Man couldn't be bothered oh, to show up. I know. Dan. 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 <laughs> I want to show you some amazing tortoises. Now, here's the thing about turtles, tortoises, and terrapins. Mm -hmm. If it walks on its feet, it's a tortoise. If it walks on its wrists, it's a terrapin. And if it has flippers, it's a turtle. What about box turtles and stuff? So some people will argue with me. Dan the Turtle Man will probably argue with me. Well, leave a comment below and just let me know. Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? I'm not sure what I think, because I thought box turtles walked on their feet too. Then? They could be turtle or sources. Turtles. <laughs> red foot. Foot's over there. And look, we're uh, this guy is in the car wash. Car right wash. Just, yeah, car just wash, the shell shine business right here. The turtle wax. It's really a tortoise wax, but we're just going go with it. Go into the turtle. Wait, wait, wait. Turtle wash. Yeah, yeah. Go into the tortoise wash, baby. The tortoise wash. And radiated <laughs> tortoises. I saw plenty of those last month. I want some of those someday. The Burmese are a little bit cheaper, and they're really pretty too. All right. Thank and you. that is my show and tell. Now I have to film my video. I haven't even started I yet. I am going to show off the best lizard in Dave's video, as always. Absolutely true. Yes, and it's not a gecko. So go see what I picked and go to his video. True. Yeah. Okay, I got to drink some more coffee and wake up. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we're here at my table. We have my first gecko sale of the day to Kim. Who watches my video? She's gonna get this little guy here. And this is a Zingex gecko, so thank you so much. Of course. I was gonna go home and cry myself to sleep because I wasn't gonna sell any geckos. And I already know you're gonna take great care of them. So I'm coming to Treehouse Geckos to pick up my cappuccino female because she hasn't been producing for them yet. I'm gonna try to put her with a lily white and make frappuccinos. Here's Miss Gray. I think I'm gonna Sorry, try babe. to do a. Oh, it's okay. It's not your fault. Anymore. We tried. This is um, her moth cap female. And I tried to get them to read. Okay, so the plan now. Hi, Hannah. Do you want attention? No, I was just trying to mess up your video. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna pass off Miss Gray to Living Wild and hopefully they can pair her with a cap because apparently she just beats up all the males she's put with. You guys are familiar with geckos that do that? So yes, I, I have a couple of those that uh, like to beat up my boys, so we'll see what we can do. Hopefully you can get her to breed. She's gorgeous. Yes, she is, and it'd be a shame if we can't prove her out. So we'll try our best. But yeah, I want to hear about him. He's gorgeous. So he is a male solar storm, so that's a super kind of sable albino. The yeah, sable albino, the uh, albino to get this color needs to be the extreme red or the purple line. Okay. This is the same snake, it just doesn't have near the saturation wow. that this one does. So they're from the same parents too? Yes. yes. Really? So there's a whole spectrum of albino. You can go all the way from yellow to extreme red. That's really interesting. So is that considered like polymorphic then? Lime bread, of? polymorphic, okay. yeah. Polygenetic, yeah. yeah. Like, That's why we have to work on it for years, right? Yeah. How long have you been working on this line? About six, seven, seven. And you've had some failures along the way too, right? Yeah, it But happens. you just keep on going. What's your other favorite line that you're working with? I love my line of watermelon. This is an azanthic, but my water, he's in a shed too, but yeah. my watermelon line comes out pink. I have pink and green pink. watermelons. I need a pink snake. Yes. This guy over here, the one you were looking at there. Yeah. Of course, super arctic. They start out black as hatchlings. They do, right? And then they yeah. turn white and black. Oh, then man. you can see they're starting to get pink. Oh, wow. This snake's daddy is a super conda super arctic. Yeah. He is pink from head to tail. I mean, it's yeah. as pink as your hair. Oh. 
There you go. There you go. He's starting to get pink on the tail now. Oh man, he's so cool. So he'll he'll get pinker as he grows. That's your little friend? Yes, Uncle Paul let me hold him. Oh. She got a hamster. They're trying to get rid of a couple because she yeah. only have too many. Oh, and I so get to cute. keep one? Yes. That's so cool. And I also have another one that is in quarantine because they just had babies. This one seems really sweet. There's a lot Karen. more. There's a lot more. There's more. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Like, they're so chunky. Oh. My, my hamster always bit me once. He's a handsome guy. Wait. What's up, little guy? <laughs> what you doing, bud? Oh, yeah. Cute spaghetti. Oh, cute spaghetti. Little many leg spaghetti. Oh, cute. Hello. Whoa. So you gonna get this really instead? Weird. <laughs> instead of a tarantula? Yeah. I could never. But they are super cute. Yeah. They're precious. His little face is killing me. Oh, he's waving at us with many legs. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so Carl is going to be trading. Um, he's taking all these geckos and I'm getting $5,500 credit at his table, so I'm gonna go trade them for probably a lychee or a really nice gargoyle. Carl, you are the best. You are the best. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A garg lychee. She's pretty. Is she a bacon line? Uh-huh. Yay! She's like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Good eye. Thank you. And I guess you still got 500, right? Yeah, way underpriced. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty. But it's okay. I make, I make them. Thank you, Carl. Everyone, check out South Tex Geeks. I've already shown them your geckos yeah. like a billion times, so they know. They know. <laughs> We're just all sitting on the floor. Kyla got Dev or Lacey sitting on the floor. <laughs> and now the expo is coming to an end, and I'm gonna take you guys back home with me to the farm. To the farm. <laughs> to the farm. <laughs> Transition time. We're back! Welcome to the farm again. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at the reptile show. Let's go! But first, here's some turtles. Hello, little pepe turtles! How are you doing today? These are my diamondback terrapins. They are not the Texas ones. These are northern diamondback terrapins, so they're legal to keep as pets in Texas now with paperwork. But these are my kid little babies. Just thought I'd show you guys. Hello, lapis bird! Oh, it's windy. Lapis bird, my beautiful. Oh, hello, Miss Girl. How you doing? All the peacocks fly up here to say hello. Then they try to bite my hand. Okay, okay. Baby Chimpkins. Hi, guys. How you doing? I agree with that statement. Hi, dearie, dearie, dearie. How you doing today? Miss Bailey. I miss fun. I miss Bailey. Hi, babies. All right. Here we are. Work in progress. Lots of things have been going. Lots of things have been changing. And I can't wait to show you guys everything. But first, my new geckos. So, the most exciting one is this beautiful bacon line red female gargoyle. She looks a lot like Valeria. She's from Carl. She needs a name too. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Thumbnail. Also got... Uh, wah, 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 wah. Also got this little one. It's another... One from Carl. Come back, little geek. He also needs a name. I don't know if it's a male or female yet, but we'll find out eventually. This one is incredibly exciting. This is a lychee. It is a sakura line, granite line lychee from Carl. So this thing is going to grow up to be absolutely incredible looking, and it already is. So I'm very excited to see what it ends up looking like. <laughs> pick up. If she ends up going to be female, I'll probably put her with Spore because I still haven't found a female that is nice enough to go with him yet because of his colors and all that. So he's just so gorgeous. So yeah, beautiful, exciting gecko. <laughs> So yeah, um, it was a great show. I had an awesome time. If you want to check out a future NARBC show, you can go to NARBC.com to see future show dates and locations. They are my favorite shows ever, and I will be at the next one in Tinley Park, Illinois, March 18th and 19th. I won't be selling, but I will be there walking around filming, so please come say hi if you're in the area, or if you want to fly there, highly recommend. I fly to Tinley. And check me out on Patreon, where you can get behind-the-scenes photos, and you also get first dibs on geckos, so if I'm going to be at a show or post any of these other get goes up for sale then you can get first dibs because you can talk to me on patreon and i'm always responding to my messages on there these are my patrons thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye don't forget to check out narbc.com if you want to come to a reptile show highly recommend